In this video, we're going to focus on Zener diodes. Did you know that a Zener diode can act as a mini solar cell when exposed to sunlight, or even light from an incandescent light bulb, for that matter? If you were to shine light on a Zener diode, a small amount of current will be generated in the circuit. The amount of current depends on the intensity of the light source that falls upon this device. Current is going to flow from the cathode to the anode. So this is the cathode, which is the negative terminal of the Zener diode, and this is the anode. Now, if you were to buy a Zener diode, it would look something like this. One side will have a dark strip on it. And that side is the cathode. That is the negative terminal. The side without the dark strip, that is the anode of the Zener diode. Now, how much energy can the Zener diode deliver? How much current and voltage will it generate in a circuit? The amount of energy that is transferred by the Zener diode is going to depend on the amount of sunlight or the intensity of light that shines upon the Zener diode and also the type of Zener diode that you're using. Not all Zener diodes are manufactured the same way. I've seen Zener diodes that produce a current from 0.1 to 10 microamps. I've also seen some that can generate a voltage as low as 10 millivolts, whereas some can generate a voltage as high as 500 millivolts. So it really depends on the Zener diode and the amount of light that is shining upon it. So here we have a Zener diode. Right now, under the ambient light conditions of the living room, it's not really generating any current, as you can see here. Now with this light bulb on, I am getting a current of 0.3 microamps. This is a 250 watt light bulb. The strength of the light bulb makes a difference. So using a high intensity light bulb will generate a lot more current than a low intensity light bulb, like a 50 watt or a 75 watt light bulb. Now notice that the lamp is completely, well, the Zener diode is completely covered by the lamp. And as you can see, I'm getting a much larger current, about 11, 12 microamps due to the increased intensity of light on it. So a Zener diode, when exposed to a lot of light, acts as a solar cell. Now, notice that the black alligator clip is on the, the, the black spot of the Zener diode. If you reverse the connection, the direction of the current will reverse. So as you can see, the connections were reversed, and you can see the negative sign in the multimeter. The current is going in the other direction now. The voltage for this Zener diode is about 10 millivolts at this intensity level. Different Zener diodes generate different voltages. Now this Zener diode is different from the other ones. Notice the voltage that it's generating, 0.471 volts. Each Zener diode is different. Now let's say that the Zener diodes in these two circuits, under certain conditions, generates a voltage of 0.1 volts each and a current of one microamp. In a series circuit, the combined voltage will increase to 0.2 volts. In the parallel circuit, the combined current will increase to 2 microamps. So in the series circuit, the voltage increases, but the current remains the same. That should be 1 microamp. But in the parallel circuit, the voltage for each Zener diode will be the same, but the current increases. So if you want to make a solar cell using Zener diodes, if you wish to increase the voltage, you may want to connect the Zener diodes in series. If you wish to increase the current, connect them in parallel. So here I have 14 Zener diodes 
in series. So let's see what voltage it's going to generate when I turn on the lamp. So the 14 zener diodes are generating a voltage of about 6.5 volts. So connecting them in series increases the voltage. If you connect them in parallel, the current will increase. So that's basically it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, click on that notification bell. If you want more videos like this, feel free to check the description section below in this video. Thanks again for watching.